We're just at a job here in Hunters Hill at a heritage uh, place, full sandstone house. And as you can see around the side here, we've got uh, rising damp coming up through the blocks. And with the rising damps bringing salt. And as the salt uh, comes up with the water and the water evaporates, the salts crystallize. And you can see here the deterioration of the sandstone blocks there, concave there. So they're falling apart. Now if we don't deal with the salts here, these will just keep being eaten away until the whole blocks need to be replaced. You can see here that it's actually coming away and cracking. We'll leave that on there, but in in short time that'll come off as well. <coughs> the whole place has a similar issue. Um, you can see here the blocks here are starting to decay also. Now the solution we've we've used here is we're injecting a new damp course level as low as we can across the bottom of the house here and we're applying something called a cocoon. Now a cocoon is basically a paper mache product which is wet and it gets put on like a render and you can see here we've done the front of the house already and what happens with this product is the moisture from this paper mache you can see here it's quite quite wet goes into the block and it re-emulsifies the salt inside the blocks and as it evaporates it comes out of the blocks and gets stuck in the in the paper on the outside and after a few weeks we remove this uh, cocoon and the salts come off with it now that will preserve the life of the stone on the outside of the house which means they don't need to replace their bricks as soon and uh, the goal is to to stop major repairs uh, that would need to be done if if the place deteriorated. You can see here we've, we're just doing the front of the house and the side of the house. And the customer's not chosen to do the side here uh, because they can't see it. But uh, if we come along here and look under the house here, you can see we've got deterioration of these blocks here. And you can see this sand on the ground here is actually from the sandstone. Now to fix that, you'd need to do two applications of the cocoon. It goes on for one week for one coat, we take it off, we do a second, uh, sorry, it goes on for two weeks, we take it off, we do a second application of two weeks, and that will uh, minimize the salts in the walls. Now, if you've got a heritage place and you have deteriorating sandstone like this, this is a great solution for that problem. And we can also do testing of the sandstone to see how much salt is still in there and you know if we do need to do more coats than than we're currently doing uh, you can see how it's applied here it just goes on like a render and uh, it's quite a neat process after we're finished there's no product left on the wall and obviously the the stones will still look deteriorated to the point that they have deteriorated but it should minimize any any more damage occurring